What's up you guys, it's your boy Hayden Huan back with another video and today I'm just going to have my quick thoughts on the Thriller 40th Anniversary album. Now I say it's going to be a quick video, however knowing me it's going to be 5-10 to 10 minutes long and yeah I haven't really done like a vlog type of video using my iPhone in a while. I rarely do do vlogs however maybe it should be a recurring video thing to the channel. Hopefully just using a small device such as my iPhone looks like I'm on a zoom call or on a meeting because I hate the idea of just lugging around a massive camera with a mic it's way too cumbersome but having a phone it's just way much more easier. So it's no secret that the MJ Estate has released the Thriller 40th Anniversary album and to be honest with you I'm really quite skeptical about it. Um, I thought that the album cover was actually fake because if you look at it here as well as here's the alternate cover as well. I mean it looks like something a 10 year old would do using Canva or just like any free software when it comes to like graphic design. I think it looks really lazy, especially the font as well. It's not really appropriate in a sense. Like you think for a 40th anniversary of probably arguably, if not statistically, the world's biggest selling album of all time, Thriller has gotten this treatment. Even if you look at the Thriller 25 album cover, yeah, it looks basic. However, the font, it makes it look 10 times better than the 40th anniversary edition. But yeah, that's overall my thoughts about the cover. I mean, it's just the same old Thriller album pose. And even I saw this post on Instagram from a fan saying that, you know, MJ's album covers were very simplistic and it would have been cool if it was just a close-up on his face which had like the number 40 similar to like Adele's 25. But that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to this album pack. Now what they say about this album that it's two discs. First disc is kind of like a remaster of the Thriller album which is you know I'm all for it I guess. They actually claim that it's going to be like a very high quality master for like the audio files out there so they're going to do like a really high quality rip that I'm not too sure how good it's gonna be. I guess you just have to wait until it comes out. And the second disc is for, you know, special rare stuff and oddities in which they've mentioned. They haven't mentioned a track list for this too. However, I have a feeling it's gonna be similar to those Thriller 2008 remixes where it's like Beat It with Fergie, as well as with Akon and Will I Am. However, that's just speculation. It would be really cool if there was Thriller era songs, you know, such as Hot Street, Got the Hots, um, the Girl Is Mine demo, Carousel, but then again those are also songs that were mentioned in the Thriller 25 2008 album as well as they've also been leaked online. But yeah we have no further information about Disc 2 and I'm hoping that it's actually look known to your state. It's going to be a very lazy grab. I think that this whole thing is just a whole cash grab and that you know I really hope that the album cover as well as the discs it should be like three discs even like similar to the Bad 25 album. That was a fantastic promotional campaign as well as just overall value for an MJ fan. Having two discs celebrating Thriller 40 and one of them is just a remastered version of the original album. Like seriously they remastered the same songs over and over for like This Is It, um, the Ultimate Fans Collections the collection even back in 2013 but yeah hopefully this two will also have some more rarer songs even it would be cool to have like a victory tour concert but then again like the estates when it comes to MJ footages and just content they're not the best like I've said the fans do the best work and it's even lucky if we even do have like a live concert footage from it. They mucked up the file for the Wembley show, they lost the original master so they actually had to use a copy of that master but even then again that was pretty low quality and just even looking at the Bad 25 DVD you could definitely tell that the Bad Tour snippets were definitely shot in like high quality film, I think it was 35mm film and that has the equivalent of having a 4K resolution when it comes to digital. But yeah, this too, we don't really know at the moment what's yet to come. I really hope it's not crappy remixes. I really hope that it's never before heard seen demos or even just unreleased songs that actually has a, an official release. But even then, I wish that the songs had some surprising element to it, whether it be like a different verse, different mixing or something to differentiate what we already have that's already been previously leaked. So those are the two discs of the album as well as the 
album cover and I think the most disappointing thing is the merchandising now I've posted on my Instagram and on my YouTube the merchandising and let's just say it looks really sloppy it's the same Michael Jackson 40th anniversary thriller font canva thing just slapped on it, it doesn't look like that the MJ set actually cares and one thing that I forgot to mention that the MJ estate store it's actually not run by the estate it's run by another music merchandise store which you know which is really bizarre and I think that the Thriller 40th anniversary merchandise it just looks really plain sloppy and that if anything my review of the Scream hoodie is an indication of the quality and that overall who really asked for this merchandise to be honest like yeah having merchandise for an album is one thing but but when it's poorly designed as well as you know the quality isn't as good like what's the point in making merchandise like I'd rather the estate putting time and effort doing market research you know because at the end of the day this is a fact not an opinion the estate is still a business the Michael Jackson brand is a business at the end of the day and that obviously they're shooting themselves in the foot if I'm being completely honest with you to be honest I don't think the estate really cares about the fans I think they just mainly care about the casual fans or just the people who would buy Billie Jean on iTunes just to put on their music library but for those hardcore fans out there the fans are really doing the best work in a sense where if you compare an official album release probably 10 leaks or even remasters from fans will come like like I think that it's completely absurd but yeah overall those are my thoughts about the Thriller 20 almost at 25 that's my thoughts on the Thriller 40th anniversary release. I forgot to mention that you could pre-order it as well. Now to be honest for me I'm just gonna wait until it comes out because I don't want to waste money on something that I'm not really invested in. I've already got the original Thriller iTunes pressing. I've got two original 1984 vinyls. I've also got Thriller 25. I've also got the Thriller 25 releases from the Ultimate Fans collection and that this to be honest I don't need another remastered Thriller album. And I've also been collecting some demos that have been leaked on YouTube as well as MJ Hideout, if that's still a website that exists. But yeah, I'm more curious to see the second disc of the album. I really hope it's not just a compilation of just remixes or just demos that are already released. Similar to the MJ Scream album, that was a disaster. And I don't even know why it exists, to be honest with you, than just a cash grab. Like, I bought the album, but to be honest, I bought the album just for the poster and it looks really cool. But overall, like, you can just make the MJ Scream album by yourself using a Spotify playlist, to be honest. But yeah, overall, those are my thoughts on the Thriller 40th Anniversary album. And only time will tell if it's a good album or not. If it's really bad, then I myself would like to apologize on the MJ state to those fans who pre-ordered or have actually purchased it and um, yeah we'll see how we go from there. Watch this video age like fine wine where I actually buy the Thriller 40th anniversary album and that's I'm going to say the exact same things or if the Thriller 40th album is actually surprising then this video will also age like fine wine because all the points I'm going to be praising about totally contradicts this video but I guess that this is a prediction for the Thriller 40th album and um, if the MJ set is watching this, lift up your game. Lift up your game. Because even on Instagram alone, there are heaps of fans that are remastering, recoloring, enhancing, doing some awesome edits when it comes to MJ. And the estate is just doing absolutely zero when it comes to maintaining Michael Jackson's legacy. Well, that's all from me. I'm looking at my iPhone. It's, the video is now 11 minutes and 39 seconds. So um, yeah, hope you enjoy, like, and subscribe. See you next video. Catch you around.